All right, guys, here we are back again on the lovely platform that is YouTube. I'm standing here outside my outside my house on my property. I'm right by the fence line. It's a beautiful day. Eh, it's about night now, but it's, it's still pretty outside, man. It's cool. It's, it's solid. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Wind's blowing a little bit. In case you didn't already know, which a lot of you don't because the channel ain't took off yet, but I'm still working on it. Um, Gen Trax 1983. That's my that's my channel. That's my shit. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Probably not. Okay. Anyway, guys, I know my last two videos have been pretty damn pretty damn serious because they've been about serious issues. Just the world in general and shit that's going down in my hometown. That's my two serious videos, guys. Today I'm gonna lighten this shit up. I'm gonna give you a little break because, for the simple fact, we all don't need to be serious every day. We all don't need to take shit seriously every day. Some days you need to laugh. And enjoy your life. Yes. Live your life, man. You get one of the you get this shit one time around. You get one go at this shit. Live it. Do what you want to do. Be happy. Do what you need to do to be happy. If people don't like it, then fuck them. Okay? Fuck them. Alright, first off, here's here, here's here's what today's reaction story is about. It's 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 my rant. I that's why I become people that tell me all the time. Just go on your channel and rant. So that's what I'm going to do about the story. Years ago, about 22 years ago now, um, I remember being at my house, or not my house, but one of my one of my good friends' house, being at her house in, in my hometown. And it was me, her, like her friend and two of her cousins, and a couple of my buddies were over there. So we're sitting there, and we're watching New Year's Eve shit on TV. The thing is, it's 99, 2000. Everybody's going crazy about Y2K. Nobody, nobody knew what the fuck was going to happen. Everybody thought the world was going to end. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're sitting there watching this shit, and a Trojan condom commercial comes on. In the middle of all the festivity shit, it comes on. It's the weirdest Trojan commercial I've ever seen, guys. For one... Why are you playing that shit on New Year's? Because you know there's some people out there trying to get the swerve on, trying to trying to get it going, and you just ruined the whole damn thing by Trojan reminding you that one of you did not have a condom. For that, you shitty Trojan. I'm just letting you know. Quit blocking on people. Just quit it. Just stop it. Just quit. We all know you make the best condom in the world, well, supposedly, whatever. We all know biggest name brand condom, da 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 da, -da. You don't need to advertise no more. It's kind of like McDonald's. Why is McDonald's so advertised? Nobody needs to know about McDonald's. Everybody knows the hell about McDonald's. Everybody knows it's 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 okay to good. And if you need cheap cheeseburgers, that's one of the places you can go get them. Now some of their sandwiches are pretty good, but this but the thing is, they sell a whole lot of hamburgers. They sell more than anybody else, which is why they're the number one company at selling hamburgers in this country. Don't mean to make the best hamburgers. Just letting you know. My opinion, Wendy's, triple cheese, delicious. That's the best hamburger. That's my opinion. You might have your own. All right. Here you go, guys. We're watching this commercial, and it comes on, and it says, What are you going to do when the world ends at 12.01? Power grids are going to shut down. Everybody's going to lose power. The world's going to get sucked into a black hole. It didn't say that, but it might as well have this the shit of it. And then they're like, but don't forget, dun -da -da -da, Trojan man. And you're like, Trojan man, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't forget on New and then they, then they go on this bill. Don't forget on New Year's to be covered. The world's going to end. You need to be covered when you're having sex. Just letting you know, Trojan man, Trojan condoms, blah, 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 do that shit, buy it. My problem with this is, I understand my problem with this is, I understand people want to promote safe sex. I get it. That's a good idea. Promote safe sex, be safe, have fun, live your life. But at the same time, you just aired a commercial telling me that the world might end, the world probably going to end tonight. 
why am I worried about protection during sex? Throwing that out there. If the world's ending or not, we might as well both go in raw and have a good time. I'm just saying, if the shit's going to end, everybody's going to die, why are you worried about a condom? There's no reason in it. It's, bull it's bullshit, and it's stupid. I don't see the reason. I just don't. I don't see it. Why are you worried about a condom? The world's going to end. Go in raw, have a good time. It's your last time on this earth doing that particular activity. You might as well have fun at it. Try a bunch of shit you ain't never tried before. We'll thumb up in there. Do whatever you need to do, but just try a bunch of shit you ain't tried before because it's your last time you're going to get to do that shit. So, <laughs> I wonder I wonder if some asshole out thought like me and like the commercial come on and he's like, well, that's fucking stupid. Well, I'm going to... He's like, that's, he's like, that's fucking stupid. I'm going to go in and not, I'm going to go in and not do this shit unprotected. I'm going to just let my shit go because it don't matter. Because the world might end, the world going to end tomorrow. So why am I going to, why am I going to fuck around with a condom? Let's just say that guy thought that like my dumb ass would have at the time. And him and his girlfriend, wife, significant other, some chick he hooked us with, some girl he met at the bar and he been pumping drinks into since 2 o'clock in the morning or since 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, whatever. You know that free bar time. Y'all y'all, y'all motherfuckers don't hit me up. Y'all motherfuckers don't look at me like I'm stupid. You know that time that used to be the perfect time. All my buddies know it. I know it. The perfect time to go to a bar slash club used to be on Sundays at Cotton Eye Joe's. Cost from 10 to 1. It was free to get in and they had $3 pitchers of beer. Or no. No, take it all back. Ten to one, it was three dollars to get in. Free pitchers of beer. Free. Free. You could just go. Or no, might have been three dollars. Anyway, cheap ass beer. You just could get it. Bring it to the table. Me and my buddies would go. We'd have a we'd have a group there. We'd have like eight tables. They'd be like six pitchers on each table. Everybody's getting messed up. No money's hardly spent. It's a great time. Just make sure you have a DD, folks. That's not that's not a joke. That's damn serious. Okay, so I just wonder if that dude is watching this video, and he's like, or not watching this video, watching that commercial, and he's like, well, why the hell am I going to do that? That's fucking stupid. Why would I do that shit? Why? Why? Well, I'm just going to go in wrong, have a good time, baby. I'm just going to do what I need to do. Get it out of me. Go. You know. Think about. <laughs> think about he hooks up with this girl. World don't end. He didn't use protection. He's just in it, you know. The end of the moment, we've all been there. We've all done stupid shit in the moment we shouldn't have done. We look back later and we're like, why did I do that? And we're like, eh, because you're stupid. Because you're young and stupid. And everybody's young and stupid at one time. We all make mistakes. Don't let that shit, just, don't let that shit take over the rest of your life. Make a mistake. You apologize. You learn from it. You move on. You become a better person. But don't let your mistakes today defy you for tomorrow. That's my advice to everybody here. Because we've all made mistakes, every one of us, all of us. But don't let your mistakes from yesterday defy your tomorrow. Define your tomorrow, not defy. That doesn't even make sense. Define your tomorrow. Okay. So just think, like I said, he hooks up with this girl. There's no uh, no protection being used. They're in there, they're doing all the freaky shit, you know, doing all that shit you see on movies. And plus probably some shit you don't see on movies because we, as human beings, we're a little bit freaky. Just letting you know. So, do all this shit. And then, the world don't end. Three months later, she comes back. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. And the guy's like, well, that shouldn't be my problem. I thought the world was going to end. Why the hell should I have to be, why should I have to be responsible for this? Me and you both thought the world was going to end. You the one told me not to use nothing. You the one told me to do this, do this, and do this, and do this, and do it good. And now you're pregnant, and you gonna blame this whole? You gonna blame all this shit on me? Uh uh. Part of this was your fault. Part of this was the advertiser's fault for making us think the world gonna end when they knew good and damn well it wasn't. They was just scaring you into buying more shit. That's all it is. <sighs> I know that's a long rant, guys. I know. I know I shouldn't done. I know that's a long ass rant, but I'd love to see that episode of Paternity Court on TV. Like the guy comes up, and he's like the defendant, and he's got his little suit on, like dunta, dunta, dunta. And he's walking up in there, and they say, hey, uh, shit, 
Steve Wozniak is the defendant. And then here comes this girl. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Here's the plaintiff. Cindy, we don't know her last name. Here's the plaintiff. And they go through the trial and they start and the judge says, why are, why are you saying you're not responsible for this child, sir? And the guy says, ma'am, I'm sorry, but here's the thing. I thought the world was going to end. Everybody told me the world was going to end. I shouldn't be held accountable because the world didn't end. Them lying assholes should. They should have to take care of this baby, not me. And the judge looks at him and says, no, that's not the way this shit works. Ignorance of life is not an excuse. It's not. But at the same time, I'd be right there with him because I'd, I'd have been right there with him at the time when I was younger because I'd been like, hey, we was told the world was going to end. I didn't think I needed to use no protection. I don't know what the deal is. But guys, <laughs> that was a little, that was a little, that was a little off key for what I normally do. But guys, um, it's just, it's just me thinking of these old stories that, that gives me, it, it gives me joy because well, in my life and my old, my old reactions and shit, and my old stories and shit, they all give me joy. So thank you guys. I love you guys. I hope my stories lighten up your day just a tad. I hope my story lightened up your day just a tad today. I may upload another video tonight. I might not. I'll probably wait till tomorrow because to be honest, to be honest, you got tired of shit. I've been doing shit around the house all day, and my back's hurting. I'm kind of a lazy piece of shit, and I just don't feel like doing another video. Y'all right there with me. I know all y'all worked all day. Y'all went home, and you was like, forget we're not cooking nothing. We're throwing something in the microwave, or we ordering delivery food, and we ain't doing shit. I'm right there with you. That's what I'm about to go do. Go get my fat ass something to eat, and I'm going to sit in there and get on Xbox and play Madden 23, because that shit come out last night, and it's fire. All right, guys, I love you. I miss you. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. And before you snap on somebody during the day when you're having a bad day, just remember, that person's probably going through the same shit you are. If not that, they're going through something close to what you're going through or going through something worse than what you are. So just be be gentle to everybody, man. You wouldn't want somebody to be able to you, would you? No. So be good to everybody. Love everybody. If you're going to have sexual fun, use protection. Guys, this was not a video. This was not a video in no way telling me, or this is not a video in no way of me telling you that it's okay for you to have kids and walk, walk away with it. It's not okay. If you have kids, take care of your damn kids. Like I said, I don't have kids, but if I did, I damn sure take care of them. If you have kids and... If you have kids and you and your significant other can get along at all, both of you be in the kids' lives. Both of you take care of the kids. It's not just a one-person thing. The dad shouldn't have to do everything. The mom shouldn't have to do everything. Should be both of you intertwined together, just like it took for the kid to be here. Y'all take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Love each other. Treat each other with respect. I love you guys. Peace.